Welcome back, viewers, to another episode of Questions with Matt and Mark. This week, I'm going to start, Mark, with our okay. question. So why don't we discuss with viewers how one can maybe assess their risk tolerance? Yeah, so it's a tough thing to gauge because when you're in different market environments, I think people have different risk tolerances, right? Um, but when you're talking about risk tolerance, I think you really need to consider you know, how much you're willing to lose and able to achieve a higher than average returns over the long run. But then the flip side to that too, Matt, is when you're determining your risk tolerance, if you don't have enough equity exposure, then you run the risk of not meeting your goals in retirement. Um, so I really think, you know, it, say how much risk you think you can tolerate and then cut that in half and that's a good starting point for people. I love that. And another point I'll, I'll make based upon what you said, Mark, is, you know, the invisible enemy of inflation Right. You know, I, I think that is not discussed as much as it should be, especially in this low interest rate environment with some of these spikes of inflation that we're seeing lately. You know, just because that bank account says it has fifty thousand dollars and it doesn't mean it's going to buy fifty thousand dollars worth of goods and services in a year. Right. And just as there's a risk to you know markets falling by fifty percent, there is a risk that people have um, not enough equity exposure for them to get to retirement and have the amount of money that they need to spend for the rest of their life. So I think just people have to consider that side of it as well. Well put, Mark. Well put. What do you have for me this week? What's a cyclical stock? Ooh, you're hearing the cyclical word a lot these days, aren't you? Okay, so viewers, best way I can explain a cyclical stock is one that rises and falls along with the general economy. And so they tend to be more economically sensitive. So think of industrials, think of material names, like such as an oil company or um, a iron miner. You know, those are the types of names that are cyclical with the prices and the demand for their goods tend to him and haw with the economy. Transportation. Transportation. And so with us coming out of the, the COVID recession, you're seeing more demand for these types of goods. And the cyclicality, the companies are able to charge more, hence their stock short term, seem to be in vogue. Mm -hmm. Good way of explaining it? Yeah, great way of explaining it. And I think transportation is a perfect cyclical stock to describe, or cyclical sector to describe, excuse me, because you know, it, it makes sense, right? So if the economy is gonna pick back up, you wanna see truckers and shippers start to get more business, People right? People traveling on airlines. Exactly, so that's that's a nice uh, example of a cyclical sector, I think, and the easiest for people to understand. Great question this week, because I think more viewers are gonna hear this cyclical word more and more in the news that helps kind of uh, explain that. Yeah. So thank you viewers for tuning in to another week of questions with Matt and Mark. We'll be back next week with another episode, and we will see you then.